Hey everybody out there, Connecticut Fish and Wildlife, Connecticut Deep Facebook page. This is our live final update of the day from Coventry Lake, out in beautiful scenic Coventry, Connecticut. We're gonna wait a minute or two for some people to start tuning in to give you our live update. It's getting a little bit blustery out here today, as you can see in my faux fur hat that's uh, blowing in the wind. We're out on Coventry Lake, if, if you missed it. In our wrap-up, we've been out here since 8.30 this morning. Some others here even earlier than that. Uh, we had our Connecticut Aquatic Resource Education fishing educators out trying to catch some fish and demonstrate uh, ice fishing techniques for you. We would much rather see you out here. It's getting a little blustery um, than having to just do this over the phone. Uh, but those are the times we're in right now and uh, I have to admit the fishing had been rather slow out here today But the camaraderie and being outdoors on this beautiful blue sky Few clouds has been incredible and awesome and what ice fishing can really be all about which is getting outside in the wind and being blown away um, It's it's getting a little bit much so uh, thanks again for tuning in. We're sorry we missed you and we're gonna wrap up with Justin here and then turn it over to Kristen So here's Take it away. Mr. Wiggins. Hello, Connecticut Fish and Wildlife Facebookers. Uh, yeah, so kind of as Mike said Today was not our day of fish catching, but we had a great day We had breakfast hot breakfast sandwiches on the ice made about four dozen of them bacon egg and cheese venison sausage egg and cheese uh, hot dogs on the ice with Michigan hot sauce some great friends hanging out reconnecting you know it's been a year since we've been able to get all our care volunteers together so um, you know it's it's like Mike said you know that's really what ice fish is all about just being outside hang out with people you're outdoors you get socially distance no problem um, so I'm, uh, we had a great day you know and we did catch a few fish we'll take a walk around real quick and uh, try to find some of those fish but my little five-year-old just pulled up a nice chain pickerel about 10 minutes ago. Here's our newest little ice angler. Say hi, Evie. Say hi. <laughs> if she can handle the 30 degree weather and 15 mile an hour winds, anybody can. Two it, years old. No, no problem starting them early. And she's already got a year of ice fishing under her belt. So um, this is what we just caught. All right, this is a chain pickerel. Another native fish to Connecticut. Really cool looking fish. It's got like these chain link fence markings on them. A dark back, a white bottom, and green all on the sides. They are designed to live in the weeds and they're ambush predators. So they just kind of lie there. They're a lion weight predator. They lie in the weeds and they wait for something to come by and then grab them. They eat fish. They are piscivores, piscivorous, whatever you want to call it. Big sharp teeth in there. They have teeth all in their, all in the top of their mouth, down their throat. They are uh, fish killing machines. So uh, these got to be 15 inches to keep. They're a predator. Uh, you keep six a day. Uh, I like to keep a couple. Um, a lot of people will will release these and kind of uh, say that they are, aren't the greatest eating because uh, they're very very bony. They are very bony. But I will tell you what. These fish are delicious. They have extremely white, mild flesh, but they're very bony. So you either learn how to fillet that fish and get the bones out, which is a bit of a process, or what I do is I turn it into this stuff right here. So this jar was full about a week ago. Uh, it's down to almost nothing now. There's a few pieces at the bottom um, left over, but this is pickled pickerel, so I no never cooked this. Uh, it's a very simple process. You fillet the fish, you leave the bones right in the fillet, you put them in a saltwater brine for a day, and then you put them just in some vinegar for a day, and then you pour them in this jar with uh, a bunch of uh, mustard seeds and allspice and peppercorns and garlic and bay leaves and a bunch of good stuff. You let it sit for a few days. The bones completely dissolve. It's an unbelievably delicious little appetizer. It looks really cool when it's all uh, full. Um, but and, I, and once again, you failed to share with your boss. Uh, I got some. There's something oh, here. Okay. So you put that on a cracker, and it's delicious. I've been snacking on it for a while. 
I don't have a fork in here, I'll <laughs> serve some right now. All right. Um, so that's our only catch of the day. We've been out here since 7 a.m., believe it or not, and we caught that one pickerel. So uh, we're gonna bring it home and make another batch of pickle pickerel to enjoy. Um, and these guys have been having a great time. All the, all the kids have been having a great time. No complaining, been out here since 7 a.m. Still running around having fun. They'll be tired tonight, which will be great. And uh, yeah, let's just walk real quick and check out everybody else. We got hot dogs ready. This is the pre-tailgate for the tailgate for tomorrow, right? A little slushier. Yeah, we'll go back to our highlight of the day, the winning fish of the derby. Paul Dona caught it, and he's going to have to drill all the holes for all the rest of the ice fishing classes for the rest of the winter for winning this derby. So this was the highlight. This was the catch of the day, as we would say. And Paul caught this. Here's Paul here. Yeah. Here, Paul. Woo! I can show live. So One of these giant lake trout destined for the smoker, right, Paul? Smoker. Yeah. You got me interested. Yep. Look at that. 26-inch fish caught through the ice on a little jig and ride. Great job, Paul Dona. Yeah. And a nice little tasty perch to go with it. Yep. All right, we're gonna find Kristen and wrap right, up. Guys. Where's Kristen? And there's I nothing see Kristen. better than hot dogs on the ice. All our volunteers here, all our professional fishing instructors are enjoying a hot, hot dog out here right now. All right, thank you, Justin. Say everybody say hey. 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 Go care. Hey. These. These people will help you learn to fish in the future, and we would be nowhere without them, so we're eternally grateful. And half of them are in the witness protection program, so. All right, just kidding. Throwing it to Kristen. Hi again, everybody. Kristen Bellantuano, the No Child Left Inside coordinator. Um, again, uh, thank you guys all for tuning in, joining us uh, for summer part of your day, and most importantly, thank you to care and all their wonderful staff and volunteers if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be able to be here and especially at our 15th anniversary um we're sad that we weren't able to actually be in person with you this year but we had to do uh what was right to keep everybody safe um so we're really hoping that next year we'll be back together um in person probably at burpon state park so stay tuned we'll definitely fill you in on that um, but I have to give a bunch of thank yous before uh, the day ends. Uh, <laughs> Watch out, <laughs> Kristen, you're blowing away! Look out, look out! Um, so I guess most importantly, I have to uh, give a huge, huge, huge thank you to Megan Bard, who is kind of the mastermind behind today, um, getting everybody up and live and running. Um, and Mike as well for doing all the wonderful video production. So thank you guys so very much for uh, everything today. Um, also the commissioner, uh, the deputy commissioner, um, our bureau chiefs, our park director, um, our wildlife folks, directors, everybody, uh, without the partnership and everybody working together, uh, this day and this event would not be made possible, nor uh, would our program be able to run as smoothly as they do because we have such a great group of people uh, that have now become friends um, working together. Um, uh, thank you too to all of our partners, all the folks today that took part in um, presenting and uh, giving you all some new information, hopefully. Um, maybe some of the things you learned today you can kind of use with your own family and friends and go out to some of our state parks and forests and try some of those things. Um, I want to also plug uh, too, there's some additional Zoom classes I think coming up. Mike, feel free to um, chime in on that. Some of the care fishing classes that you want to sign up, there's Zoom classes. And then you get a special invitation if you complete the class to meet at a, um, a particular state park or forest um, pond to do some ice fishing. So uh, the temperatures today were in the 30s. It was a little balmy, as you can see, windy. Um, but we had some safe ice. We have about six or seven inches, I think, um, in some other areas much, much thicker than that and others quite a bit less. Um, you guys saw what I think we caught a couple fish today. Um, the care folks, friends, family, the, the small group of people that were out here today uh, to try to bring this day to you. Um, we're appreciative again for you joining us, like I said, for summer part of the day. Um, let's see. And you can check back and look on our Facebook yep. pages if you missed any of the videos. They're there now for yep. you to watch yep. over and over and over again yep. because it is riveting, especially the first session of the fisheries one. Right. So help fisheries get the most views ever and keep watching them and share with your friends and family. Yeah, and we appreciate 
appreciate you watching us today um, on our deep Facebook page, the Fish and Wildlife page, and through all the different um, presenters today through their Facebook pages as well. Um, make sure to follow us all on, um, you know, through Facebook, through Instagram, Twitter, every type of uh, social media opportunity that we have. So we're trying to do our best to kind of get new and different programs out to you since we can't physically be together um, in large groups. So we're doing our best to um, try some new type of programming so we can still kind of come live to you and bring some of our other um, partners and presenters together. So thank you again. Um, we hope you had a nice day. If you have any, I don't know if you have any questions, yeah. Mike, that came through in well, your comment section. One question came through. One person wants to know when will be the, when will the next No Child Left Inside program kind of be, do you think, going okay. down the road? Well, thank you very much for asking that. So what we're looking at is unfortunately probably not in-person programming. So last year we did what was called the Great Backyard Pursuit. Um, this year we're trying to look at some type of scavenger hunt through state parks. So we'll give you a bunch of kind of ideas and information and kind of list of things that you'll have to do. It'll probably be somewhat of a similar time frame. So we'll start beginning of May as we typically would with our fishing day. We're still gonna try to incorporate kind of our fishing, our camping, our boating, our kind of outdoor skill building events. So I promise you everything will be included and rolled into one. I'm hoping to also have some other Zoom presentations, maybe um, Facebook Live streaming um, with some of our partners as well. I'm hoping to still do kind of a, maybe a little bit of a different fishing day, boating day, camping day. Not really sure how we're gonna get that to work logistically yet, but um, you know, pay close attention to the beginning of May. Um, we're hoping to start this up again, but information will be coming out uh, probably in the next month or so, probably middle of March um, at the latest. All right, Sierra is saying she loves scavenger hunts, so maybe that's an idea for the future. I, well, Virtual that's scavenger. That's one that we're hoping to kind of yeah. put in there a scavenger hunt through the state park. So, Excellent. But again, if anybody has any you know additional questions, you guys have any ideas of things that you'd really like to see, um, let us know. Um, feel free to send it to my email, uh, kristin.bellentuano at ct.gov. Um, happy to take your thoughts and ideas and suggestions and see if we can somehow incorporate that because obviously we want to bring programs uh, to our families, our friends, um, and those involved. Um, we want to get you more involved. We want to get you outside. We want to share our knowledge and our experiences with you, but unfortunately we have to do it a different way. So help us with that. Share um, some of your thoughts and ideas. Be greatly appreciated. All right, thank you. So I'm going to turn around one more time. We got Kristen and myself in here. We're going to sign awesome off. Care, guys. See ya. Thanks, everybody, for okay, tuning thanks, in. Guys. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. Stay warm. Bye bye.